Hello, this is Dr. Deepak Bhatt for ACC.org, and today's wrap-up. I was actually joined by a great cast of characters, but we had a little bit of an AV misfire, so that's why I'm flying solo here. But I'm going to try to do as good a job as that group did. So uh, the three trials we focused on, uh, I'm going to just recap here, and we thought those were the hottest of the day. Let me start off with the Freedom Anticoagulation Trial. So it was Freedom COVID was the name, but it looked at anticoagulation in patients who were hospitalized with COVID. I was published in Jack. I should uh, disclose I'm a co-author. It was presented here by Dr. Fuster, really uh, very enthusiastically received by the audience, published simultaneously in Jack by Dr. Stone and Dr. Farquhar's first authors. And basically, what it showed was that the primary endpoint wasn't met. However, the story is much more interesting than that. The endpoint of all-cause mortality, in fact, was significantly reduced with a strategy of full dose versus prophylactic anticoagulation, whether it was a, a NOAC-based strategy or a, a sub-Q low molecular weight heparin-based strategy, both as far as full dose anticoagulation beat prophylactic anticoagulation. So I think for certain types of patients, uh, this could be a really useful therapy. The other trial that we had thought was worth emphasizing from today was the Stellar trial. Now this is a trial of a novel drug for pulmonary hypertension, which showed pretty remarkable results. In fact, I dare say stellar results. The trial showed improvements in patient-oriented outcomes in terms of how they were feeling, but I think scientifically perhaps even more exciting effects on things like intimal hyperplasia. So biological effects, actually modifying the disease, which really advances pulmonary hypertension therapies. And we know that pulmonary hypertension is an under-recognized, under-treated entity. And there have been some great new drugs that have come out in recent years that have raised awareness of pulmonary hypertension. I think these trial results in this drug may further catapult that awareness, appreciation, and treatment of pulmonary hypertension. So uh, those were uh, two of the three trials that we thought were worth emphasizing. And the final one was the Pulsed AF trial, uh, looking at a novel way of treating atrial fibrillation using pulsed electrical fields as opposed to the usual thermal type of ablation uh, that has occurred uh, that, that occurs with the uh, regular AFib catheters. And the data looked good in this, uh, I guess, a non-randomized study, but still in terms of examining the results against a historical performance standard look pretty good, both in terms of safety and efficacy. So I think the ability here to do a procedure in a shorter procedure time, which every EP lab is looking to save uh, sort of uh, throughput time and, and, and cost in the, in the EP lab, that ability to perform it quicker but with potentially as good or better safety uh, and efficacy that's hopefully at least as good, I think is a real win. So, you know, we'll see what future trials show. We'll see how the EP community uh, adopts this sort of approach, but I think it seems really promising. So uh, these are three of the trials that the team picked, but I must say there are a lot of great late-breaking trials and other results presented today. Stay tuned and tune in to acc.org for full coverage. Thank you so much.